everyone. I am Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and welcome to Home Talk. So today we're going to do a door hanger and this is going to be a patriotic door hanger for the 4th of July. So let's get started. I'm so excited to share this project with you. We're going to get started by base coating it and priming it all in one. And we're going to use the Bondego Black, which is one of my favorite paints to base coat in. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour some out onto a foam plate because it just seems to be easiest for me to use it that way. And that way I don't have the lid off on the paint as well. Uh, so this uh, door hanger um, was cut out by a company called Southern Adornment and we will definitely have a link here for you to grab so that you can find this. Um, but this is going to be so much fun. Now these are cut out of MDF and they are nice and smooth so I'm going to try to make sure all my brush strokes are smooth as well. Um, I also have uh, chosen to use black as my base because the black will go well under all the different foil choices that I'm going to be using. So we've got some fun foils that are all patriotic theme with stars and stripes. Uh, so this is just going to be fun. But you want to go ahead and base coat your entire surface. Okay, and like I'm showing you here, I'm trying to smooth everything out. Um, and if I do, if I get a good job on this, okay, I can probably get away with just one coat of paint. And once I have this all base coated, I'll definitely check and make sure that I don't have any areas that don't have coverage. Uh, allow this to dry, and then we'll get to our second layer um, for doing our foils. So we're going to do a little layering. Um, with our foils as well. So I'm gonna also introduce you to using a stencil with them and um, just get creative. Now also, as I'm painting this, the star shape goes into the E as I'm painting right here, as well as the star goes into the top of the V. So um, I've got a couple ideas on how to even pre-cut our foil so it might be a little easier to uh, figure out what color we want on what area and um, how to make this maybe a little bit easier okay I did one already as like a practice run and I sure came up with a couple of other ideas so um, hopefully hopefully these new ideas I came up with will make this easier so I'm gonna finish this let it dry and then we'll come back for our next layer. Our base coat has dried and now we're ready for our next layer, which is going to be the foil adhesive, which is the first part of creating a foil transfer. So this is our brand Artsyville Embellishments Foil Adhesive and it's designed basically for any hard surface. Um, I've already poured some out onto what I call a sticky plate because I use this plate over and over again so it's sticky all the time. And I'm going to spray just a little mist of water on top of that because I found that when brushing this product on, it helps just to dilute it just a little bit, okay? And that is a mist bottle, not a regular spray bottle, so it does not um, spray out too much water at a time. So uh, approximately 1 or 2%, okay? Um, we're going to paint this on the entire surface because we're going to do a foil transfer over the entire design. And to do a foil transfer, we have to have down the foil adhesive first. Uh, this product goes on looking milky white, but will dry completely transparent and shiny. Uh, but it's pretty cool that it goes on milky white because it really helps you to see exactly where the material is and that if you've got something covered or not. Um, also, um, like I said, it dries uh, perfectly clear and you need to let it dry at least an hour okay the longer you let it dry probably the better 
um, but at least a minimum of an hour because it has to dry to what is called a firm hard tack, which will help the um, transfer of the foils. Also, as I'm applying this, um, I'm trying to come back once I get the adhesive onto the surface, come back and smooth out my brush strokes. It's not a self-leveling material, so any uh, marks or brush strokes that you leave behind can possibly show in your transfer. So make sure you kind of come back and just smooth things out. Uh, I do like using the artist brush that, or any kind of artist brush because I feel that it puts it on smooth and also puts on enough material for you as well. Uh, you don't want to have it on here too thin because if you don't have um, enough stick, you're not going to get a transfer of the foil. So uh, that's why I kind of have leaned towards art brushes over foam brushes because sometimes I feel the foam brush just doesn't put on enough material for you to work with. Not by any chance do you want this globbed on, okay? But you definitely need to get a nice, uh, even film of it, okay? Uh, like I said, once I have this on here, I'm gonna let this dry for at least an hour, probably two. It uh, doesn't matter how long you allow it to dry, you just have to let it dry for at least an hour. This will never dry beyond a firm tack. So um, even if you left it on here for six months, it won't dry any more than it will after the two, three hour period, okay? That's, it just never dries any harder. Um, so it's always, always gonna be sticky, uh, which helps because if you start something and then you get interrupted and you can't finish it, you don't have to worry about um, how long the adhesive is on here before you transfer your foils. So I'm gonna finish this up, let it dry, and then we'll be back for the real fun part, okay? See you soon. So I've picked out a wonderful collection of foils for this project. Um, we have our glitter stars, we have our stripes, and we also have some 3D stars, which are holographic, which is so fun. So when I did this before, I discovered that there are a lot of options in how you can kind of design this. So I was thinking that to make my life a little easier the next time I did this, I would actually grab either a Sharpie or a pen, I don't know which one's gonna work best, and decide how I want to do this, because I'm gonna do red, silver, blue, and stripes, and also we're gonna scatter some stars. Um, we're gonna scatter some stars. Okay, we're gonna probably use a lot of different foils to do it, but we're gonna scatter some stars. But what I'm talking about is how our L and our V come together, and we can decide which line we wanna kinda create here, as well as how the L and the V connect here. We can decide if we wanna curve this line or make a straight line for the star. I wanna make sure that I definitely get my um, stars finished off here with the points that are going into the letter. And then one of the more creative ones here is I can either just go straight across with my um, V and kind of cut into the um, E um, or I can even make the E cut in. So we got a few options. Okay, so I'm gonna hope that this is gonna be a little easier. I'm gonna try the Sharpie um, because I think it will probably be a little easier. Okay, so we're gonna stop this this way. Okay, so I don't wanna do that line. And this will make sense in a minute, okay? <laughs> or hopefully. Um, so I can just kind of get a little bit of an idea to be able to cut. Because when we lay this on there, uh, it's going to be easier, okay? Uh, so I want a straight line there. I'm going to grab a ruler or even, oh, here we got a ruler, perfect. Uh, and I'm going to make a straight line across here. So hopefully this will give me a good cut. So what I'm going to do is just cut my foil on some of these edges so it'll just help us to line up in the end, okay? And let's see how, if I cut off too much here, okay, if I did, 
we can just move that up even further, okay, or move it down. Okay, I did cut that off. I cut off too much there, but that'll be fine. We'll make it work, okay? So now what I wanna do is like cut this edge here so that I don't overlap over into the area that I don't want. So I'm just gonna kind of pre-cut a few things and especially this line, okay? I'm gonna kind of mark a few things even while I have it on top because this is the line that I want. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just thinking it might be a little easier because I'm trying to color block um, the foil, okay? And I know that we're gonna want to cut a line here, okay? So that we can keep this section. Okay, let's see how well I've done here. Okay, so again, I'm gonna just trim that edge. Okay, that's gonna be pretty close there. Um, this is not rocket science, it's not gonna be perfect, but I think it's just gonna make it a little bit easier. And that's actually not gonna be too bad of a line there, okay. And you can do this a couple of different ways, okay. But I was thinking this might be a little bit easier than what I've done. Okay, so that one is blocked, which then will make this easy to do. And I won't have to worry about that. Uh, but the only area that I'm going to be concerned about is creating this line and creating the area for the star to come in. Okay, uh, so I'm going to do silver on this one. So let's make sure that I have that over far enough. I've got plenty of room. And this hopefully will give us a couple of lines. I'm not sure the Sharpie is the best tool here because it's so wide. <laughs> um, here, I got a pen. Let's try the pen. No, I think it's just the fact that we've got a quarter inch MDF and can only get there so close, okay? But let's see, okay, I think that might give me some lines to at least come close to. And let's see how well I did here, okay? Trying to get this, this edge. And that's not too bad, okay? I think I might go straighten that up a little bit more. This is kind of like ahead of time homework. That'll just make your project a little easier. Ooh, I like that one right there, okay? And I'm not gonna worry about this star right here because I'll cut that when we're ready to go on there. And remember, if I foil this one first, I won't have to worry about overlapping, we'll be okay. And once this part is done, the only thing we're gonna have to worry about here is trying to cut a little section for um, the point of that star, okay? So we're gonna go grab our piece that is already sticky and get started on it, okay? And hopefully a little bit of this pre-cutting helps. <laughs> we'll see, okay? <laughs> so here is our prepped board, okay? I'm going to kind of turn this my way so I've got a little bit more control. Um, actually, it might be even easier this way for me, okay? And like I said, I want to start with, oh, Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is doing our little stars, okay, before we do full coverage. Um, and I'm using a little stencil, okay, just a little tiny star stencil. And if I'm gonna put red here, I am going to use silver stars over the top of that. So the silver will show really well over the, 
over the stars, okay? And I'm just gonna stagger or scatter, okay, a few of these um, on here. So I'm gonna cut little pieces of foil so I can cover the ones I wanna do. And I'm only gonna do a few of them. But this will be really fun because then you're gonna have all these little stars peeking through. So I'm just gonna use my toothbrush and rub over the stenciled openings, okay? And because your stencil um, has a little bit of a thickness to it, it's cut out of what's called five mil mylar, which keeps the edges of the design from getting all the way down in there. I'm using what's called a stylist or an embossing tool to just use that ball on the end and rub those edges so that we have really crisp edges on all of our little stars, okay? Because it's hard to get the toothbrush down in there. So you can use the big ball end or the smaller end and then just outline it basically, okay? So that you get, you get all your little stars. And because this whole surface is sticky, um, you're going to want to be careful <laughs> because your stencil sticks to it really, really well. Okay, we're going to put another one down here. And this is actually a great thing when you have like leftover scraps of uh, foil is never to throw them away because this is a great time where a project like this, all your little scraps come in very handy instead of having to uh, cut off of your full big sheets. Uh, the scraps work perfect. So you can decide how many of the little stars you want. I think we're gonna put on maybe two more. So trying to get it where I can do two at the same time, okay? And let's cut two more little pieces of foil for this. And you wanna make sure that you're just covering the star itself and don't let the foil get over the edge. Um, of the stencil because if it gets over the edge and touches any place that's black, the black is all sticky, so it'll get stuck in those areas. So I want to stat scatter, I hope I say that word correctly there, um, little stars on all of the letters to begin with. And I'm gonna choose a different color so that that'll show okay so I my idea was to do red silver and blue so I want to definitely use different color stars on each letter so that they'll show up really well so isn't that fun okay so uh, we've got our red we've got our L done here okay so I'm gonna try to see how well I kind of pre-cut this. Okay, and I know that we're gonna to have to cut off. Let's see, where's my scraps? Here's where your scraps come in really handy, okay? I can lay this right over that edge, okay? And cover that area. And then I'm gonna use my bigger scrub brush to scrub on the foil. So we should have some pretty good lines here. If I've missed anything, um, I can always come back and add a little piece of foil there. Okay, I'm gonna use my toothbrush on these edges so that I don't get on the sticky part. And then we'll just come back to our big scrub brush, okay? And scrub over the whole surface now. So this is going to transfer all this beautiful foil to that surface. And then we want to peek, we want to make sure that we're happy with it. If you don't have your edges done really well, you can always get let it fall back into place and just get your edges a little bit better. Gosh, look how fun. And see how cute that is, okay? We got our little stars peeking through. And you can just keep lifting, and if you find any place where maybe it was wrinkled, um, you can always go back and add a little bit more. Um, you can always go back and piece in a piece of foil there, okay? 
So I'm slowly like lifting and just making sure I'm happy with it. If I'm not, if I've missed scrubbing a spot, just lay that piece of foil right back down, okay? Our first letter is done and it did help okay it really did help to have that pre-cut even though that was kind of awkward doing it okay um, it did help in the long run so now we're gonna work on our letter V okay I'm gonna turn this again so it's facing me and I'm planning on using the silver so let's do some blue stars in the silver So I'm just going to cut off a piece of foil here. And again, we're going to place our stars just kind of randomly. And then just cut your little scraps. Place it over whichever ones you want. And I love using my toothbrush. You want a really stiff toothbrush for this. The stiffer, the better. It works great. And then also making sure you have a stylus, or if you don't have a stylus, you can use your fingernails, okay? Um, and that will also work. I just found the stylus is a little bit easier if you have one, but don't think you can't do this without it. I just keep trying to show you all my little tricks so I can hopefully make your project easier and awful, extremely fun, okay? Oh, this is just going to be so great. Okay, a couple more of these I think are needed as well. And I'm not really, you know, planning this out too much. I'm just kind of um, randomly placing this little stencil, which is easy to work with. Um, any star stencil will work. You don't have to do the stars if you don't want. I just thought it would add a layer of more whimsy and fun. And this is going to um, be our door hanger on our front door, uh, probably from Memorial Day on, okay? We are gonna have fun with this. And we have so many other projects that we are planning out to use with these foils to decorate our entire porch, I can't wait. Okay, so let's do one last, sorry, we gotta have one more on here, okay? In the blue and then I'll be happy with it. You could put a ton of stars on. You can put as many stars as you want. I'm just kind of staggering them and having fun with some placement. And I'll tell you, do take your time and figure out what color you want to use where because I didn't think my first project through well enough and I did silver stars everywhere well, I also had silver on the V, but I used two different foils, so it did show, but I think it would have been better. I'm thinking this is gonna be better. This is just gonna be a little bit more fun, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm done with that, okay? So it's trying to move everything out of my way. And our biggest area is our trying to do this edge, okay? And I think I cut it a little odd here at the bottom, but my biggest area that I want to be concerned about is trying to figure out my V, okay? Oops, okay, so I let it touch. Now I'm gonna show you how to fix that, okay? But come back here. I'm now going to go ahead and cut where I put that, okay? So I don't have to worry about it overlapping the red because the red's already foiled, so I don't have to worry about that but we're gonna to have to do a little correction there because some of the silver, the minute it touched that foil adhesive, it was like, okay, it's it's grabbed it, it's transferred. Okay, we have a little area down here that I need to double up, okay, because I cut that a little short. And now we're gonna scrub. So also, we don't wanna scrub our foil over our foil too much, so I'm gonna use my toothbrush at all the edges that are really close to each other and get those done first. 
and then we can scrub everything else really, really hard. But this is going to come out so great. So I wanted to let you know that I'm telling you, no matter what you do with projects like this, there really isn't anything that you can't fix. So never let anything like that worry you. It gives me a great excuse to show you guys how to come in and actually fix it. Just make sure our little corner that fell off too quick, okay? And did you see that? I just used my fingernail. And sometimes that is just as good as anything as my fingernail um, or just my finger just to get those little areas if I got too much black peeking through. The black doesn't really ever bother me too much, so I think it's just kind of a personal thing. If you want it to be as perfect as possible, then you could even base coat each area and whatever color you want to be there. So I could have base coated the um, V with, um, let's make sure I got that one done really well on that edge. I could have base coated this like in a gray first, which then the silver on the, um, gray you wouldn't be seeing all the little pieces of black but that's okay i don't mind that okay that's just like one of my personal preferences is i've never mind the black coming through okay and we're just double checking oh my gosh this is just gonna be so so fun but look at that so far that is great so these foils have tiny little stars in the background and it's a holographic. So when you move it around, you can see those little stars just sparkle at you. Okay, let's get on to our E. So we have red, silver, and blue. Um, so we're gonna do red stars. Let's try to find our stencil again, okay? So I'm going to scatter some red stars over here and I'm just gonna cut again little pieces figure out maybe where we want a couple of these and just keep adding. So I keep trying to position so I can get a couple at a time, and that way it'll just go a little bit quicker. But remember, you wanna make sure that your pieces of foil are small enough that you don't let them get onto the black anywhere else. So I'm just gonna keep working with my little scraps here. Like I said, these come in so handy when you're doing projects like this. I have actually a whole box of scraps. Um, sometimes we just give them away uh, to a customer for fun. Uh, sometimes I can go and grab from that box and find something that I need. Uh, but I tell everybody to hold on to them. Don't throw them away. Okay, so I'm getting crazy here, okay? Uh, I think we might have to do three more. <laughs> and then I'll be happy. You could just cover this whole thing in stars. And that would be absolutely adorable. And like I said, the stiffer the brush, the better. This toothbrush is definitely not as stiff as I would like. Uh, so we need to go and get a new toothbrush because the stiffer the toothbrush, I think just the better it helps to scrub it to the surface. Okay. 
Okay, let's do one more star way out here on the end. And then we'll move on to finishing up the E. And the E is going to be our blue foil. And the only place that I'm wanting to make sure that I don't do what I did over here is that star, okay? Which again, is gonna be tricky. <laughs> Okay, let's put our star stencil away. We're done with that. Let's grab our blue piece. And let's see if we can figure out an easy way to do this. Okay, because I don't want to just go completely across. Okay, I'm probably going to blow this one as well, okay? I'm trying to use my fingernail to create a line here that I can see. I'm not sure how well I did on that. Oh, that's not too bad, okay. Oops, cut that one too far off, but we did better, okay? We did way, way better. <laughs> Still probably gonna have to do a little repair on both sides, but again, I don't have to worry about the overlapping because the silver is already there. So I just want to Use your finger, use a cloth, um, anytime it's got the overlap, okay, so you don't get a scratched edge. Uh, these foils transfer so well that um, that'll work most of the time, okay. I use the scrub brush because it just seems to be faster when you've got a bigger surface. Okay, so now I'm just trying to find out, find the whole shape here. And then I'm going to go back to my toothbrush on these edges. Now we can use our fingernails. Oops, got to finish that out. Oh my gosh, I don't know which color I like the best. They are all so pretty. Okay, let's make sure. I think I even scrubbed over that part of the letter. How fun is this? Okay, so our last letter that we need to do is our star, and we're definitely going to do that in stripes. Now, I was telling you, I want to show you how you can do a quick little repair. So, never think all is lost. I'm going to grab a tiny little brush, a little bit more of my foil adhesive, okay, that's left on my plate. And I'm just going to brush it over the area that I want to repair, okay? So I'm just going to try to brush in the shape of the star, so the shape of that point. I'm not sure this is my favorite brush, but we'll make it work. As well as over here. And all I'm doing is just covering up um, where the silver or the blue accidentally grabbed it, okay? Now again, you want to let this dry, okay? So we're going to have to let this dry for about, uh, when it dries on top of itself like this, it normally doesn't take as long, but we're going to wait for that to dry for no less than probably about 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll finish out our star. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we are going to finish up our star. And I'm going to put this to me as straight as I can so that I can try to get my stripes straight here. And I think I'm going to try to go for like silver on at least the point. And then just go ahead and scrub on the foil. Okay, remember how I told you, anywhere where you're getting close, to an edge that you've already foiled, use your finger to rub or a soft cloth um, just on those edges, okay? That way you can get right up to them. And then here, again, I want to use more of my finger, but this is the area that we repaired on the point, so we'll see how well I painted that on. Look at that, that came out great, okay? 
Let's see this one too. Oh, my painting job wasn't as great, but it definitely transferred well. Um, so the more precise you are with your brush, you can definitely do a lot of, you know, if you get an area like I did, okay, I think it's great to show you that you can repair it. Nothing is lost, okay? We can foil over foil anytime. So that is the end of what I'm going to be doing with the foil on here. So now I'm going to take this home and I'm going to show you guys how it looks on my front door. Well, here it is, my love star on our front door. Great project. All I did was use some twine and my staple gun uh, so that I could hang it on the door. And it is super, super fabulous. Look how cute that is. Thank you.